<laughs> well, of YouTube, I got a nice story that just happened today. <laughs> oh, man, I feel bad, though. I feel very bad, very, very bad, very bad. <clears throat> About a year, year ago, two years ago, I, uh, started, <laughs> I, I looked up, I don't know, somehow this, the movie came up, and it's with, and I was looking up some stuff with Billy Bob Thornton, and a very, very bad thing I did, <laughs> but I can't help it, now there's a, oh man, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to get through this fucking video. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, there's a movie with Billy Bob Thornton. Never knew it existed up until a couple years ago. It's called Sling Blade. And I guess... Maybe I recommend the movie very good movie Billy Bob Thornton did an awesome job <laughs> but where I stand with the movie they're gonna have to do a movie review for it but the way I look at it man I found it funny as hell sorry I couldn't help but laugh my ass off through that whole friggin movie I mean you know, other than the parts where he's talking to the kid or telling us stories and stuff, excuse me, but, <laughs> oh man, I feel bad, I feel very bad, in ways I wish I never watched the movie, <laughs> I can't friggin' help myself, it only goes to show how mentally deranged I really am, hell, I even found a cup holder, you know, them old time in foam cup holders you'd stick your beer in or your soda in <clears throat> and I found one literally stating that you know something like in my life I'm looking to make a goal of making a mental uh, diagnosis <laughs> for myself have my own mental diagnosis you know from crazies being from this to that to that have my own diagnosis pretty much it said I'll have to slap it up anyways but this only goes to show how deranged I really am and in ways I feel bad but still I can't help pissing my fucking body <clears throat> I know Sling Blade was supposed to be a serious movie about mentally challenged people and Billy Bob Thornton like I said played the Awesome job, man. I give him a credit. Should have won an Oscar for it. <laughs> I mean, he did a damn good job. I mean, the, the funny parts in the movie, though, wasn't did and didn't have anything to do with him. Besides the way he talks, and this guy literally on YouTube, I'll have to throw his link out there, but he came up also, but I'll get to him in a little bit. And uh, he does a great, awesome job of imitating Billy Bob Thornton. But, like I do and I like to do, and I used to do a lot of stuff when I was a teenager, you know, at parties and stuff, and do jokes and make my own, you know, try to make voices. And I was going to do a series of these because I can do a few voices Hell, I even got a video up where I go to Taco Bell and talk like uh, Mr. Mackey from uh, South Park. You know, drugs are bad, okay? <laughs> but I, I, oh man, I, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have watched the movie. But I started doing my own impressions of <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton. Now I have to remember to put this guy's... Uh, channel in there he's got a youtube channel too and actually he hit it big with his impersonation of sling blade i like to call it sling blade 
and he does an awesome job too, man, and funny as shit because he would take the phone and stick it up and he'd have his wife in the background or his kids. And in the beginning, I'll tell you, they did not like it. And uh, he friggin' used to get it going real good with his wife one day. said, cut that fucking mouth shit! Or she yelled something. And or his daughter is about like 13, 14 years old. He'll put the phone up and you see her in the background. And, <clears throat> and I'm going to do the impression in a minute. My voice is a little rough though. Takes me a few minutes to get it, but He hit right on the nail. <laughs> and his daughter, he was like, shut up! He's screaming at him, shut up! But what, I've, what I really feel bad about is, and it happened today. Like I said, I'm going to get up to the point where I'm going to do it, but I got to tell this story. And what, it, what I feel bad about is I had an IEP meeting for my third oldest son. And we were getting ready to leave. Everything went well. I mean, everything is... There, here, and everywhere with the kid, and he's doing well so far. And we still need some placements here and there, but my youngest, son, the seven year old, I have lots of problems with. Now, <laughs> he must take me in as a sponge, and he does imitate me and does some things, but yet the kid says he hates my guts. You know, I'm not done with the do with the kid anymore, but. He literally learned how to cook from me. So he'll be in here slapping eggs on a frying pan, putting butter in, grilling them up. He hasn't got the flipping done yet, but he'll get it down to the point where he tried it and stuff like that. But he's cooking eggs, he's cooking noodles, feeling it myself. Like the night he's trying to cook the fry later, but I had to kick him off the fry later one day because grease went in his face. He didn't get no severe burns, but... Then now, oh my God, this is the this is the part. This is where I, he's. Oh man, <laughs> this is where I didn't and shouldn't have watched Sling Blade and started it, but I did. <laughs> and I started it with my wife at first, <laughs> talking like Billy Bob Thornton. And <clears throat> this is my impression of Sling Blade. <clears throat> You ever get it right now? And I start off with it. <clears throat> as he as there's a part in the movie, you gotta watch the movie. And he talks about them potato fries. Mm -hmm. Gonna get them potato fries. I'm gonna go down there and uh, get down there and uh, get my potato fries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, fucking, he goes in a restaurant and he's asking the waitress, I believe it was. <clears throat> he's going. To, you're having them potato fries. Mm. He's always saying, mm. and he's talking to the kid and everything. And he's like, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, I, when I was about a few years back, mm -hmm, I went and killed a man. Mm -hmm. He's all fucking talking like this. I mean, I ain't got it down pat as good as this other guy does, but I, I got it to the fact that <laughs> my wife said, you're in a gut. Bullshit out. What if you? She literally says, "What if your voice gets stuck like that?" <laughs> mm hmm. Jingle damn, won't give me some potato fries. Mm hmm. Fucking, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm dying to go to a friggin' drive-through and put that in too. So like I said, I did Mr. Mackey get <laughs> Taco Bell. I go, Taco salad, okay. I mean, I've always done impressions. There's that one guy that used to play on Police Academy. Jones, as they called him, the black guy. And he'd always have the the megaphone <laughs> making the gun sound. So me and my friends back in the day used to love trying to mimic all that shit. So, yeah, I went on and I even got to the point where I used to work at Big Fits. And there I used to do Yoda. <laughs> me and this other kid fucking pitch perfect. <clears throat> like I said, my voice is screwed up tonight, but Yoda man would be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you get that, mm -hmm. Would you like home fries with your hamburger? Mm -hmm. Fucking, I get that going, and the waitresses would get pissed off at me. So when I started the sling blade, 
Of course. <laughs> and this is where it gets because I'm holding you in the suspense. Because now, like I said, I'm at the school. And the teacher of my son, my youngest son, sitting in the lobby. In a chair. And me and my wife are walking out the door. And, you know, she's, she looks all just strung out. And I mean, a kid literally came up. He was like four or five years old. He must have been in kindergarten. Hey, look, I got an Easter bunny. And he's showing her the Easter bunny, right? He goes, oh, yeah, that's a lovely bunny. Oh. And then she just handed it to him and turned her head and just was like, all right. I got, and like was to say, all right, kid, I got to sit here a minute. She was strung out. So my wife goes up because, yeah, she's talking to her. Oh, how you guys doing? Oh, yeah, she's. In the friggin' uh, yeah, he's like, oh, I, and my wife's like, oh, what, what, you got taking a time out? Just joking around. And the lady's like, oh, yeah, she, and her eyes are bugging out of her head at this point. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, going, yeah, yeah. And my wife's like, it ain't because of Bryce, is it? And I looked at her, and I wasn't gonna get into this conversation. But sure and shit, sure and shit. I'm not gonna say too much, but uh, Bryce, oh, my, 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 she don't wanna say too much, but. That was the reason why. So she didn't say what he was doing, but she did say this. And all the kids and the other teacher that's in there said, Bryce today is like, oh man, Bryce is just too much for everybody in the class. He just, oh, and she just didn't want to get into details. So later on tonight, we're out driving in the car. We had to go do some things, stop in the store, get some groceries. And on the way to the store, <clears throat> you know, my talking to Bryce about, oh, well, blah, blah, what you doing at school today? You know, trying to get it out of him. And what does he come out with? He says, oh, yeah, I got everybody going. And I don't care. He says, that's what I like to hear. Because, I don't know, the kid is at the point in his life where, <laughs> you know, he's... He's doing things to annoy, and kids are starting not to like him, I guess. But yet he does have friends. He does socialize. I mean, there is issues with him in school. But what is he doing? He's doing this. He's, he's like doing a, uh, <clears throat> I want to say, if you watch the uh, Little Rascals, the, uh, they call him Froggy, Frog Voice. He's out there doing it. He's like, he's like, oh yeah, what are you doing? He's all doing this. The, and I was like, and I looked at him and I said, you ain't doing that goddamn sling blade. Because I mentioned it in front of my wife and I kept her. And when, lo and behold, this kid was in school today talking. His own, you know, I'm like, oh. Fucking God. He said he did it all day. <laughs> My fucking word. He did this all day, he said. But I wonder why. And I went into the school. Meeting was at 10.15. Got out like 11.15. It was an hour. And I guess the time he got into the classroom, which he probably gets in about 9.15 into class. Oh, that lady must have got out there about 11. And we got out 11.15. From that time, 9 to 11, two hours, he's in there doing his fucking sling blade impersonation. <laughs> so now you know why I'm fucking over here. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I shouldn't have watched the movie myself. Shouldn't have done this out of it, but I couldn't help it, man. Back in the day before me and my wife had kids in 1998, I mean, there was times, you know, we were together and she would, we were just at that point in our relationship back then where, I mean, we were at each other's throats, but it don't help with the friggin' drinking that we did together. Very bad combination. I mean, she was a heavy drinker, I was a heavy drinker, but that's what led me to her and everything, but... When we get in, there was a one thing I used to do to her, too. It was an impersonation. 
And when she started aggravating me, I'd do it. And that's why I started the sling blade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yo, we'll, we'll go down there and get some uh, fried potatoes. Yeah, mm-hmm. Shut up, <laughs> Started aggravating me. And I just do things instead of friggin', you know, ruining the relationship, so say. You know, if you're going to have an argument and hold a relationship, you got to do things that are not severe, mental abuse, physical abuse. So I do the impersonation. Sometimes she laughs her ass off. This time she didn't. Back in 1998, she didn't. That's how long I've been with this fucking woman. But back then it was... <laughs> Rain Man. Oh, Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got, yeah, 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 and I would be doing that in the fucking car and a drive. Yeah, Judge Wapner at seven, Wapner at seven, yeah. Yeah, and I'd be, oh man, I think one day I got slapped upside the fucking face. <laughs> oh, you fucking shut up! Yeah, I'm just fucking, oh man, I'd be impersonating something. Does that mean, hey, you know? She be pissing me off. I don't know, I'm fire I'm gonna do this. And sling blade, man. Whew. I gotta, like I said, I'm gonna one day do a video. I gotta get up to that <clears throat> drive to. I'm gonna do Yoda. I wanna do sling blade. <laughs> they did, Mr. Mackey. All the impersonations I can do, but hell, even Rain Man wanted. Yeah, I want a burger. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. But. What led me to that movie? Cause I remember reading something about it. I don't know about how. Yeah, he must have won an Oscar and a an award. And <clears throat> back in 1998, I would have never caught that movie because that was on that drinking bench. But oh man, I shouldn't even be saying this. But the funniest part in the movie to me, nah. Dwight Yoakam is <laughs> swearing up a storm and he's got the band members in his living room. At that, it ain't even his living room. But he's over there talking about, oh, well, they were talking about the band and how they're screwing up and, you know, how are we going to do this? Oh, you get the fuck out of my house. Get out of my house. And no, they're all sitting there, but well, what about this and what about that? And the poor bastard in the wheelchair. <laughs> The poor bastard in the wheelchair. But what about our instruments? The fucking fuck instruments take the fucking thing and he takes to push the wheelchair to the door and tries to throw him out in the fucking wheelchair, man. I don't know. I can't. Whoo, man. I don't know, man. I'm sorry, but I haven't laughed my ass off that hard for the longest time when I seen that part of the fucking movie. What about our instruments? Get out of here! He's take the wheelchair. And then when I got the Billy Bob Thornton part, and I was all done. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> you got the red potato fries. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I just... <laughs> and then the fucking kid, man. What the fuck? He's in there all day doing it. Although his sling blade, like I said, sounds like the little rascal frog kid. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Like I said, this kid, man copies the shit out of me, but uh, now I gotta freaking watch out for what I say, what I do. The reason I start that shit and pff, the teachers find out I think they're gonna not like me too well in the end. <clears throat> oh man. I did say to my wife one day when I get into one of these other meetings that I don't like I told her that I'm going to start talking like fucking Sling Blade. I don't give a shit. I mean, say so like... Oh, Jesus Christ. Like the therapist or something. And they really... You know, there's sometimes I get into a therapist meeting. And, or some other meetings that are just BS. I just want to so bad to start to... You know, what about this? I'm going to go down there and... You know, put my paperwork into the thing over there. Mm, and, uh, yeah, I want to get that in there. Mm, fucking just go off. Oh, my God. <laughs>
Getting them tater fries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways, I gotta get out of here before I fucking piss my pants. But I just, I just can't believe that was, that happened today. Out of all the things my kid does wrong in school, he's fucking trying to talk like Sling Blade. What the fuck? You know, I'm thinking of you want to go in there and get a bad report. He drives his teacher crazy of asking her this, asking her that. What about the birds and the bees and the trees and the trees and the... T you know, this stupid shit, but he's in there... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Christ, it's not fucking funny. I don't know, I gotta get out of here, man. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm surprised he even got through this fucking video. <laughs> but I gotta put up that link. I gotta remember to put up that link so you guys can go check out the other dude that does this shit. Because he through the drive throughs and does this shit. He's pretty damn good. But I love nothing will top off the ones he did when he first started and his wife and his kids are screaming at him, SHUT UP! <laughs> Other than that, world of YouTube, I needed a fucking laugh, and that was a good one, boy. I don't know. Be safe, take care, and whatever you do, don't teach your kids fucking sling plates. <laughs> Go down here and get some tater fries. <laughs> Ow!